This is Artifacts Mars, and this is part two of Seed Dispersal. Why there's intelligent design, obviously, in this. Uh, you don't look at dispersal by the wind. Um, the two, uh, there's a whole bunch of different methods here. This is a UK site, seed site, dot co, dot uk. Um, I guess we'll start with a parachute type. Now take a look at these. This is a dandelion. On the right here. This is all I need to see. What you have is... First, the seed, and then there's a stock, and then there's these little, uh, hairy things. I don't even know what they're called, but they're very light and airy, and they're designed to catch the wind. I said designed. Get over it. Of course they're designed. Now... Think of how this could ha could this happen by accident? The answer is no. Because you have you would have to have the accidents which would just create by accident light airy stuff that the uh fuzz things are made of. I don't even know what it is. It doesn't really matter. It's very light and airy. It catches the wind. And it sends the seed on its way. And then the stalk and the seed. And all that comes together just perfectly. So it can carry it by the wind. Because these are all a bunch of random mutations. And you'd have these little strands sticking out all over from the seed. And it probably wouldn't go very far. No, it's in this parachute type shape and it floats away very easily with the seed in tow uh, on the wind. Well, a plant doesn't know there's such a thing as wind to start with. So you're going to sit there and tell me that these are designed to, these all just happen by accident. I mean, there's millions of these. Uh, Willow herb, bulrush, dandelion on the right. Like I said, this is a UK site, so some things I'm not really familiar with. You want to tell me this happened by accident? These things just suddenly just developed from a series of accidents? Of course they didn't. Somebody had to have designed this. Plant doesn't know there's such a thing as wind. You start out with your basic seed. Um, when these things supposedly came out of the ocean and went up on dry land, we're told that they just developed all this by accident, 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 accident. Mutation after mutation. I'm sorry, it doesn't work that way. And it gets worse from here. These are designed to catch the wind and sail away. We're going to look at the wing type next. This one this one really infuriates me. But the evolutionists can call this an accident. There's a sycamore in the middle here. Ash, hornbeam. I don't even know what hornbeam is type of tree you 
You see, these types are uh, aerodynamically shaped. Maple does the same thing. You have one is essentially a propeller, half a propeller, and it breaks off from the tree and it flies away in the wind uh, with the intention of landing somewhere in Germany. But instead of dropping great straight down, we have these wings on the uh, seeds that help to disperse it. Uh, humans went a long, long time without figuring out how to uh, make a propeller, but these trees knew how to make propellers a long time ago. That's essentially what this is, is a, rep a propeller. Now, this is an aerodynamic shape. It had to have been planned. It couldn't have been come into existence by accident. You know, tell me this just came into existence where we had this aerodynamic shape and it can literally fly down to the ground so the it actually spins down to the ground. That's what maple does. Sycamore too. You gonna tell me that came into being by accident? An aerodynamic shape? And humans didn't even learn to uh, fly until the last century. The propeller hasn't even been around all that long. So, it used to be they used oars, of course. Which many still do on small craft. There is no way that a plant can just come up with this on its own by a series of random mutations. I'm very sorry. It doesn't work that way. This is aerodynamic. If this was a series of random mutations, it might flutter down randomly or something and it wouldn't get very far. And this is designed to slow the speed fall of seed and hopefully it catches wind and flies away. I don't expect every seed to be the same, but if plants did this by random there wouldn't be uh, all these adaptations to disperse these seeds like this. And we see them everywhere. That, you know, every spring, just like clockwork, they fly down from trees, flutter around. So is this proof that uh, there's intelligent dot design? You betcha. This is absolutely proof. It's just that uh, the evolutionists would have you believe that all of this happened by accident. That these plants just somehow learned how to produce all these by accident. And everything's an accident. And everything they do is by accident. And give me a break. There's Dan Lane again. There's all sorts of things like this. All these plants just accidentally learned how to do this by accident, all on their own, of course. I don't think so. People, you're being snookered by the evolutionists. There is no accident here. These things do this on their own. They do this because someone or something, God, or whatever, God, aliens, I don't really care, programmed it into their DNA to produce these different forms to disperse these seeds, 
to me, this is proof of design, right? I don't need anything more than this. There's no randomness here. These were... There's no randomness any more than there's randomness when humans make, uh... Well, it's, uh, kites that people glide under. A pair of sailors. There's no randomness there either. This is not random. It's designed. As far as I'm concerned, it's case closed. Next up, we're going to do, uh... We're going to do seed dispersal by fruit. And no pun intended, but that gets a little juicy. As a matter of fact, Mars, thanks for watching. Remember, this is not random. This universe was designed. 